Hello V-Ray users, Alex here, your V-Ray guide and today on 3D Max and V-Ray tutorials I'm going to show you how to set up your studio lighting of course by using 3D Max and V-Ray so let's get down to our business I'm going to press Alt-W in order to expand my view and I'm going to create a line in order to make our stage I'm going to press snap option here and I'm going to draw a line just like that I'm going to name it stage because eventually we're going to extrude this line and create our stage from it alright we need to smooth our corners by using a fillet option so we don't see any corners in our rendering as you know all studio uh, renderings are really nice and smooth environments and um, you basically don't see any corners in these environments okay so it's going to be something like that okay hmm? not bad yeah. P hotkey P and I'm going to uh, extrude this oops I'm sorry I'm going to extrude this it's going to be our stage I'm going to put it in the center just like that and I'm going to give it almost pure white material of amount 253 okay 53 is basically uh, not pure white we don't like to give pure white um, color or pure black just boring and might produce some um, unexpected results so I'm going to uh, merge uh, some model yet uh, now to our uh, scene okay and I'm going to create some lights as you see it's a Buddha model I'm using Buddha for this uh, tutorial I'm going to light it I'm going to use V-Ray light V-Ray light with amount of 160 centimeters I'm using centimeters most of professional artists on studios working with centimeters here in Europe uh, I know that in USA they're working with inches but for this um, tutorial we're going to use centimeters as unique scale okay so I'm going to place one light it's going to be a uh, main light with multiplier of 50 and um, warm yellowish orange uh, color okay I'm going to press shift and duplicate it and just up against the other side we're going to have the same light but it's going to have a bluish color and it's going to be less intensive intensive of multiplier multiplier of 40 um, yeah the next thing is we're going to create another light and it's going to be a bouncing light because we have our two main lights and this light is going just going to put it just against the wall and it's going to be with less intensity of 20 and not so bluish just a bit neutral it's going to be it's going to get just between our two lights it's going to bounce and bring a really nice bouncing light to our scene okay next thing is I'm um, going to create a camera we're going to use a very physical camera of course is the best camera that we can use in V-Ray normal camera we just don't get any um, any good control of exposure and other parameters just to show you the camera um, I'm using 5.6 F numbers it's just go basic I go basically with this uh, group of numbers uh, 2.8 uh, 5.6 8 just exactly as the real camera 
okay um, when editing on point four as you see here white balance is uh, a little bit bluish so I'm going to remove actually this bluish color from my scene so it's going to get a little bit uh, warm uh, feeling and film ISO is 500 okay so um, I'm going to pass to our render as you see here um, the first thing we need to uh, save our, our model save it as Buddha I already render it just to make our case just don't think I'm not doing any preparations I'm doing some preparations to make these tutorials efficiently okay so uh, turn off your default lights in your render turn off also your filter map is going to speed up your render also your anti-aliasing filter you're just going to render big resolution so uh, you don't need actually an anti-aliasing filter do it with uh, three or four thousand pixels and you're gonna be just fine if you need sharpness or something like that you can add it always in Photoshop and this I'm going to show you in the next tutorial um, environment I'm not using any of environment exponential one 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 it's the basic uh, basic uh, parameters uh, contrast 0.5 and uh, as you see I'm using radiance map and light cache um, a quick word about the contrast is the, uh, uh, basically it comes with one I lower it to 0.5 just to give a little bit more contrast to our scene it just works the opposite way if I, if I lower the parameter it brings me more contrast to the scene as you see here um, using custom parameters minimum maximum rate minus 3 and uh, 1 hemispheric uh, subdivisions of 60-30 uh, this is a really nice thing I learned from my really good friend Stanislav Orechov um, using a 20, 0.25 and 0.25 it's a really optimal, this optimal uh, rendering uh, settings for the, uh, for the image quality okay? as you see here light cache um, I'm using uh, 1000 as the default for better and bigger uh, look you can uh, render uh, you can just adjust it you know if you render of four or three thousand pixels you can adjust it a bit more uh, this thing here is going to really speed up your render use a light cache for uh, glossy rays if you start losing details just uh, go uh, go a little bit lower with this parameter here uh, about 15 or 10 or something like that and as you see here I'm not using any filter for reconstruction parameters on my settings I'm using 3 for global subdivisions um, it's just uh, going to give me um, really good quality to my textures it just actually doubled uh, or here 3 or so 3 times bigger uh, my parameters noise threshold of 0 .0, uh, 1, uh, 0.005 and here as you see I'm using um, two faces and 750 uh, dynamic memory just about uh, my RAM I'm having um, 8, 8 gigabyte of RAM showing the save frame just to see what our rendering here I'm going to zoom a little bit okay something like that and I'm going to hit the render um, a quick word about the rendering settings um, this rendering settings we have developed um, while we have created a um, really nice project and we needed to uh, make a combination of fast rendering settings and um, good quality and the high quality uh, uh, rendering results so we just combine this all together and find the perfect solution for this combination of quality and speed if you didn't succeed in this tutorial you can always download it from my blog after the subscription okay so our render is done as you see here it's a really nice combination of warm and cold colors so this is basically it. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back to my blog at vraygaid.com. This was Alex, your Vray Guide.